Hey there, Eric back again, your learning futurist. In this video, I'd like to talk about metadata. Though not the data that's kept in websites and other programs to understand what that thing is, but I'm talking about the company meta and the data they collect, most specifically through browsers. And this has become an issue more of recently because meta has been getting in trouble for over collecting through the browser and even recently trying to get around the new uh, privacy controls that Apple has put in place in their iOS devices. And so now they're in a new battle from which they are over collecting through their in-app browser in iOS devices, which conflicts to what people would expect because of the private new privacy settings on their devices. Why this is important to uh, things moving forward is that the Oculus Quest put out by Meta, now the Meta Quest, has their own browser, which they want to control, and other companies are doing this as well. I'm gonna go through that in this video. And the data they are looking to collect to exploit for their business practices is very important. And so, in this video, we're gonna talk about that and how it relates to in-app browsers and meta and kind of the battle that's happening between companies and you and your browsing habits. Coming right up. All right, in-app browsers. What does that mean? What does that do? What, why is this in the news of late? So um, when you're in your Facebook app, or any app, whatever, and you click on a link that wants to take you to the open web, um, usually, well, in many cases, not usually, I would say, depending on what your habits are, you get sent, you leave that app, and then you open up your default browser on your device. So if you're in iOS, if you're using an iPhone, you might exit temporarily that app and the Safari browser, for example, or Chrome might open up to show you that web content uh, that you've clicked on th in that app. And that happens a lot in other apps, right? Especially Facebook, because people share links on Facebook and you want to click on them and see what they're all about. Maybe a news article or um, a link to a YouTube video, et cetera, et cetera. So when you click on those apps, um, I'm sorry, that, that link out to the web, instead of opening up a new browser, which has the which has to abide by, for example, by an iOS situation, you have to abide by those rules, then those new rules, the new settings in your in your iPhone to not track you if you don't opt into it. It will instead open up its own browser, so you're still in the Facebook app, and Facebook is collecting data, is injecting uh, information into websites so they can track your behavior using the web through that device, and so this is a couple of different things are happening through that. And so um, this is not necessarily new because as we've seen in the past through this, um, Apple has really hurt Facebook's ability to track people and therefore have lost billions, billions plural, of revenue because they're not able to track data and a lot of people are at leaving Facebook because they can't target the people they want to target with the ads and therefore they have become less effective in this targeting added tar targeting ad model that they put forward so apple put famously put together a, an opt-in version to be allow apps to track third party to you so if you're in a facebook app um or if in a browser you have to opt in to be tracked and so the people that are suing Meta over this, saying that you're, we're, you're overreaching the kind of normal expectations of privacy because you're using an iOS device and you've set to be not tracked. And so using the in-app browser to continue to track you through what you hap happen to do inside their own app, but still in a browser, kind of violates that kind of understanding of privacy. And they're not the only company to do this. And Apple's not quite 100%, I believe, innocent in this as well because they're pushing into services. They have, they're trying to grow as big as they are as a company into new ways and new ways to uh, collect information for their own purposes. 
may or may not include uh, advertising, not so much, but that it also includes um, being able to control what happens on their devices and their walled gardens, for example. So what happened around this? So Meta uh, is being accused of kind of circumventing these kind of Apple policies around being having to opt in to be tracked around this data. And so they're being sued to then perhaps bring back old lawsuits where they agreed not to overtrack and uh, were settled before because they may have violated some agreements that took place in previous lawsuits. But um, some states are actually asking that this is actually a federal law that's been broken, not just uh, Apple's own policies around the opt-in, because like I said before, this starts to give users the expectations that they won't be tracked because they know it's an opt-in situation. They have to set, uh, put a setting in their phone to allow third-party people to track it, and Meta is actively trying to circumvent this option that iOS users have. So uh, what's going to happen with that is really uncertain. But I would like to point out that this is normal practice in the world of iOS. So um, when I was working at Microsoft or a subsidiary of Microsoft way back in the day, they got sued because they were pushing Internet Explorer bundled into Windows. And this is happening again. Microsoft is pushing the Edge browser onto the Windows users, and I'm running into this all the time as a Windows user. I try to use other browsers. I, I like Brave, personally. But there are even now some functions within Windows where it will not allow you to switch to another browser. And I am constantly asked by Windows to switch browsers on pretty much every update that I do. It's very annoying. Uh, and things like internal software like Microsoft Teams that are the auth authentication process is t tightly linked to your Windows login now is starting to break and it's very frustrating to try and use a third-party browser. And this is something that Windows got in trouble with and got sued over and lost. And now they're doing the same practice again uh, 15, 20 years later again. And Google also does it too. Uh, they have their Chrome browser and they have that browser for a reason because Google also is in the business of advertising and being able to know what websites are being used and connect it to their AdSense platform for advertising, one of the biggest in the world, is very, very important. So coming back to Meta about this, right, they have their Oculus Quest and in their Quest what's one of the reasons that th this is a big bet for Meta is because they don't want to be beholden to the policies of Microsoft or Apple when it comes to being able to track and collect data of the people that use the, the internet, basically. And the web is the biggest open version, the biggest use of the internet. So being able to control the browser on which people interface with the internet is huge as far as being able to control the flow of information and seep out the information and data from which to exploit for various reasons, mostly advertising. So, but inside the Oculus Quest, they have the Quest browser. Um, it was called the Oculus browser before, but it's the same thing happening again, right? They attach a browser. So if you want to browse the open internet and use like things like open XR um, experiences that are basically virtual reality websites, uh, I have a couple of those that I've made myself, my hometown project. Go check that one out. But now uh, Oculus, now Meta Browser, can now seep out that data. And now, because you're in a headset, how you're interacting with that website has a lot more biometric data attached to it than perhaps just um, browsing the web on a PC or a mobile device, right? So now you have your location, how you move your eyes and your head, and you can get a kind of biometric fingerprint of that person like you never could before. So websites, companies are tracking you. They're all doing it. Meta just gets in trouble because they're trying to circumvent the rules. And so why this is important is because this shows a pattern of behavior, not just of Meta, but of all these companies looking to give out these browsers for free because the real money is made 
in seeping up the data, c controlling the data from which it goes forth through browsers, and in Google's case, through Google's uh, search engine to show you things when you search for them, right? So how do we get around this moving towards the future? I have a couple of suggestions. I'm gonna quick move over to my web browser here, right? So uh, if you're on a PC or a Mac, use Brave instead of Chrome or Safari. It's so much more efficient uh, and quick. Um, a lot of people, when they, when, they, when they hear me talk about using a different browser for privacy, one of the things that usually is said to me is, I don't have anything to hide. I don't care if I'm being tracked. But here's the thing. If you're being tracked, you're being shown more ads. And if you're being shown more ads, you're, you're more distracted. And after you use something like a browser, Brave browser for a while, you start to notice how much brain power that tracking is pulling you down in, in, for lack of a better term, right? It's taking up your mind. You see an ad, you're like, oh, wait, I'm being seen, I've seen that before. Where did I see this? Uh, how am I being shown this? Or, oh, there's an interesting thing. Oh, that, that's an ad. I, didn't, I, didn't, I don't want to click on that. Because they're showing you things that you think you like because they're tracking you. And that is a distraction. So you're saving time and effort and raising your efficiency at the same time you're trying to protect your, your privacy. Another way that you can kind of help circumvent this is stop using Google and use a DuckDuckGo uh, as a search engine, right? Google is behavioral targeted ads, meaning they track everything you do for as much as possible and therefore they use that larger and larger collection of data for which to figure out what ads to show you and build profiles from which they use to sell ads through their um, clients to sell ads, right? So, but DuckDuckGo does it a little bit differently. They don't collect information on the people using it. They just uh, are targeting ads based on the searches you do. So for example, you search shoes in my hometown or whatever that might be. And therefore you might see an ad, but it's just based on those keywords, not based on what, where, where you are physically, the data that's collected through your phone or the past searches you have done. It's just tied, tied to the search that you did at that very moment. And it's much less um, invasive as far as privacy goes. And some of the research shows that it's just as effective, right? You're, you feel less creeped out. You feel more like the ad is being shown for that specific person, per, uh, issue or whatever you're searching, searching for at that moment, right? If you're being behaviorally targeted, you might get an ad or something related to something you've done in the past that you think you might still want to buy and that before is being pushed on you uh, through advertising dollars. But when we come to the Oculus Quest, we still have a bit of an open question because uh, the the ability to even choose a browser or a, um, a search engine inside of a headset is largely still op up in the air, right? You can choose an app from which to go in and be a browser. For example, Fi Firefox Reality is a popular browser that I use when I'm inside of VR. But um, being able to know what browser that you're going to use as a default uh, isn't really set in stone quite yet. And not only that, the search engine that you use inside of these uh, browsers is still kind of a Wild West situation. So how you're being tracked, what's being tracked as you use virtual, uh, sorry, the open web inside of virtual reality is still something that needs to be worked out a little bit more. But it's obvious that companies like Facebook, Google, Meta, are thinking very deeply and trying to push the ability to control how you use the web and what browser you use because it's tightly linked to their ability to exploit data for revenue moving towards the future. Oh. Well, I hope this is a little bit helpful um, and something that's in the news of late. If you're more interested in knowing about privacy, especially inside of virtual reality, I invite you to come look at some of the other videos on my channel. But for now, that's it. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.